you do know everything once you're pointed in the right direction. But your mind, when you're suffering, because it's a mastermind and it thinks it knows everything, your mind doesn't really ever question the things it ought to be questioning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because it's perfect. It knows everything. Um, so really what you have to do when you're a person like yourself is you have to focus on your feet. Oh. Good morning, my friend, and welcome to Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And not only Friday, Jupiter is entering Libra for the first time in 12 years. It was 2004 the last time. And that means your mirage to yourself is about to expand. From my smartphone to yours, keep streaming for your Friday Namaste today. Namaste today, a practical way to start each day. I'm your host and spiritual life coach, Sensei Chris Watecki. I work in the modality of psychic astrology and I'm on a personal mission to stand in my heart and help raise the love vibration on earth. Namaste, my friend, and welcome to Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And I'm so grateful it's a short week here in the United States. We don't get them very often. Now, today is actually a great, interesting day. Yes, Mercury is metrograde. Yes, we're in the thick oatmeal of Virgo. But Jupiter enters into Libra. That's a little whipped cream on our Sunday. For the next year, we're going to be expanding love, our mirage, and all the partnerships. And in your megascope, I'll give you the tips to how to transcend into this new sign. But first, let's take a look at your weekend zodiac weather. This zodiac weather is for Friday, September 9, 2016. Looking ahead at the three day weekend mood cast, today is sunny and rather serious, but tomorrow on Saturday, you'll feel sunny and large and in charge. Then Sunday, it's overcast, quiet, and manifesting. But today on Friday, Sunny and serious is my prediction. You are ready to make the commitment of where you want to go and grow. Now, the Great Human Walk has reached Step 17, Virgo. That means our ruling channel today is Channel 8, I decide. And that means the ruling planet is Saturn, direct in Sagittarius. Now, our emotional focus today is imagining the future. The moon is in Act 3 of Sagittarius. This is literally Peter Pan out kind of daydreaming kind of energy. And our mental focus, again, is Mercury Mentorgrade. We are remastering the future today. Mercury is at step 23. So we're looking for that grand plan again. Now, that said, this weekend we're moving into Jupiter in Libra, which overall is going to be a great thing. Jupiter feels great in Libra. We'll be transitioning for the next few days, and in your megascope, I'll give you some tips to how to make that transition a little smoother. But first, grab yourself some tea, and let's have our Friday tea time. Hello, my friend, and welcome to our tea time. Today's tea time topic is psychic whistleblowers. Now, I will say that I consider myself to be a psychic whistleblower. Uh, I didn't used to. In fact, I've slowly come out kind of out of the closet of my light work and my beliefs for over 10 years. I've been on YouTube 11 years now uh, this January, and you can literally see my progression. I didn't even use the G word, God. In the first two years, it was all universe, and that was my psychic feeling of the world can't handle it. So, I also was, you know, getting to know my own abilities and not being an idiot and saying stuff that I wasn't certain of for a long time. Uh, but you can see that I have slowly opened up, and that it's a, it's it's not easy to be open about it because a lot of scientists, a lot of people think you're crazy, uh, and that's fine. Uh, but I do want to put out there. I think the importance of sharing with the world your feelings. Forget psychic. Forget that you have a sense. Forget that you saw a dream. Forget any of that. Okay, I think that's where we get caught up in the conversation. I think the way we psychic whistleblows, we say, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this. Okay, That is enough to tell another human being 
that you feel something is off. We don't have to talk about if it was in a vision or it came up in a tarot spread or whatever, all right? But I do believe we need a psychic whistleblow. I think that, for instance, in World War II, Nazi Germany, you know, there came this time where everyone was afraid to speak up about how they felt about the anti-Semitism, and the, and the currents got away from them to where they were too afraid to speak up about how they felt about certain things. And we don't always have to come to a conclusion when we psychic whistleblow. In fact, that's really what I want to teach you. What's most important is that you say to another human being, I don't feel right about this. Why? I don't know. I just don't feel right about it. Now, what that does is send an energetic message to the politicians, to the leaders, to everyone out there who is, I think, sometimes trying to manipulate situations uh, that the masses are not happy. And not only does it send a message that the masses are not happy, they don't necessarily know what to do about it because all you're saying is you don't feel good about it, right? It puts the power into it's their problem to figure out why we don't feel good. Now, this is something I teach in personal relationships too. You know, a lot of times personal relationships get caught up and he said, she said, and then you said this way and this way. And all that banter goes away when you just talk about your feelings and go, you know what? I don't feel good about this. I don't know why. Now, another person goes, well, you have to feel good. Well, right there, that's a totalitarianism right there, right? That's a dictator right there. Anyone who tells us how we have to feel is clearly trying to take away our human rights to feel how we want to feel, right? So when you bring it into the context of emotion, it's very difficult for people to argue with you. And when people feel that you do feel that way, it's even more powerful. And that's the other aspect I want to bring up. Emotions are telepathic. Science will one day realize that our feelings connect to other people's feelings, and it's our feelings that, mm -hmm. that do most of the communicating. So when you say how you feel about something, and you psychic whistleblow, like, I feel something's off here. I feel something's off here. What you're doing is, is you're, you are communicating a feeling that you have, and a lot of times people around you have the same feeling, but they were afraid to speak up. They thought something was wrong with them. blah dee blah 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 Now, in this whole psychic whistleblowing topic, I think right now it is incredibly important for people to be talking about their feelings about the elections, politics, everything that's going on. Because I'll tell you, as a psychic whistleblower, there seems to be a very dark plot to take over a lot of our power in this country. I can psychically feel this plot, and it's I don't know who's behind it, but I feel it, and I feel it strong. And I feel they feel they're getting away with it because I feel they feel that we're not noticing. All right? So a couple of things that are not good as far as what I see coming up, and I don't want to be negative. I want to be positive. I want to offer the solutions here not to add any fear. Here's the first very dangerous thing. The American election right now is based on fear, 100%. You're either afraid of one candidate or you're afraid of another. Now, that is a very bad situation for spiritual growth because it means that we are building our life based on fear. And we have built our life based on fear before, but not this directly. This is, to me, very, very dangerous. It doesn't feel right. Now, do I know the solution? No, but I know I feel I'm not happy with what I am feeling. I'm, I don't feel it feels like it's going in the right direction. I don't feel it is uh, being corrected, and I feel we need to all speak up about it. I also think you should speak up about how you feel about everything, friend. You know, it's real hard to blame someone for how they feel, like I said. You can get into the arguments of GMO or non-GMO. You can get into the arguments of to vaccinate or not vaccinate. But when you post something that says, I don't feel safe with vaccinations, what are they going to say? You should feel? Again, someone's going to dictate how you feel. So by putting our feelings out there, by being empowering our own feelings, you are psychic whistleblowing because psychic energy is in our emotional uh, empath nature and people just need others to feel they're not crazy. That's the basis of my whole show is to share all my loony stuff so you don't feel so crazy because I know I'm not alone in how I feel about many things. I'll end it with this because it's, it's a weekend, not three-day weekend, no, it's this weekend. Oh, it's a weekend uh, show. And I'll say this, I think there's a lot of things we need to be feeling very seriously about. Um, I very much feel there is going to be a financial uh, major collapse coming up in this August. I mean, excuse me, this autumn. autumn. 
And I've been feeling this for a long time. People go, when is it? I don't know. Again, I feel it. But what I encourage you is, if you feel anything is off, prepare for it. Don't ignore your feelings. You don't have to post on Facebook how you feel. You don't have to do anything. But you can prepare and put your life in a better position based on those sneaking feelings. All right, my friend. Let us now take a sip of my tea and channel for you the Megascope. And we're talking about today Jupiter ending Libra. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to handle that as well. Uh, but first, let's uh, take a sip and see what happens. Okay. By the way, uh, for my subscribers, we do this little game every day where we, we test the, a color. I send them a telepathic color, and I'll just tell my subscribers, I just got the color in this just moment. <laughs> so I'll tell you what it was later. Um, so today might feel a little serious today, um, and that's because it's time to put your money where your mouth is. Uh, the moon is crossing over Saturn. Life is moving ahead. I know Mercury is metrograde and things are inside out, but that's the whole point. We need to have things inside out so that we can look at things from a different perspective than the perspective that we've been caught up on. And we've all been very caught up on certain perspectives based on childhood, based on propaganda from mass media, based on you know censorship. I mean, we've all been caught up on certain things. Doesn't mean it's right. So this retrograde is to pull back and to take a look and ask your heart today, what do you really believe in your heart? Are you willing to stand behind that? All right. Now I have a little help for you with Jupiter entering Libra. I'm going to give you some traditional steps uh, of Jupiter entering Libra and Jupiter entering a new sign. Step one, make sure you give time and space with yourself right now. Jupiter and Libra means that we're going to first be expanding our own relationship to ourself, as in I'm really going to believe in myself or as in I'm really going to trust myself or really listen to my intuition. So you have to take special time with yourself to do this. It's not in the car. It's not with someone else. It's not on your iPhone. Step two, how do you treat yourself? Identify how you treat yourself. Do you treat yourself like a slave? Do you treat yourself like Cinderella? Do you treat yourself like the wicked stepsister? Identify how you treat yourself because it's the beginning of treating yourself differently. And step three, how's it working? <laughs> the way you treat yourself, does it work? Are you happy? Are you fulfilled? Do you love being you? Do you come out of the shower smiling and happy and singing every day? Or is life hell? So let's be honest now with Jupiter and Libra and address how happy we are in our own vessels. For those watched over my personal sensei service, today in your daily zen, a very important one, I'm going to give you my tips for protecting ourselves with the upcoming turbulence I feel. So what I'm doing to protect myself for the upcoming turbulence. And this is a subscription only topic because I do not trust anything on the internet and I want it behind a password. Uh, secondly, if you were watched over, your eye candy at three o'clock is going to talk about where Jupiter and Libra is going to grow and affect you for the next year. It's going to be a fast, rapid growth. Thank God it's in Libra. Libra can be gentle, at least in the end. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. I thank you ahead of time. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I post several times a day under the handle of C. Wateki. And if you want to step into the bright star that you really are, come on down to SeriousJoy.tv. Find out all the cool things uh, that I offer, including my personal sensei service. My clients report their life changes in 30 days. Why don't you risk 20 bucks on yourself and find out? Otherwise, I'll be back on Monday with more, my friend. Remember, I love you and live, love, be.